This is our roundup of the best video editors for iOS in 2021. We're gonna take a look at all the leading options after our in-depth testing and all the pros and cons to help you decide the best option for you. And we'll wrap it up with my top pick for the best video editing app for iPhone and iPad right now. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything I mentioned in this video Video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Now, as we go through, make sure to let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite video editing app on iOS right now? And most importantly, why? So whether you agree with my choice or not, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So there is a lot of options for editing apps on iOS. You've got things like Adobe Premiere Rush, Light Motion, Video Leap, Filmora Go, iMovie, InShot, KineMaster, LumaFusion, Power Director, Quick, Viva Video, and Splice, and that's not even all of them. So after putting them through their paces, we've ended up with a short list of my top three video editing apps on iOS right now. So we're gonna take a look at each of those in more detail before we get to my top number one pick at the end. So the first one on the short list then is VN Video Editor. This one is totally free, no watermark, and it is an amazing app. It's got a really easy to use intuitive interface. It's fast, it's powerful, and it packs in a ton of features as well. Along with the other app options in our shortlist, this one is a multi-track video editor, meaning that you can stack or you can layer up your video clips on top of them for more professional video editing. And this app is also cross-device compatible, meaning that there is an Android version of it, there is also a Mac version of it, and I'm told there is a Windows version coming too. And there is the ability to move and transfer your project between devices as well. I've spent a bit of time with the Mac version already, and it was one of our top picks for best video editing software on Mac. So. Well played VN. It's got the ability to save and create presets and templates in there. So if you wanna use the same graphics and titles and things in multiple videos, then that's really, really easy. And it's also really easy to switch between different video formats. So if you're creating a widescreen version and then you wanna reformat for a portrait version of your video to repurpose your content to maybe an Instagram story or something, it makes it really easy to do that in here as well. Now in regards to the downsides or the things to be aware of, there is one thing that annoys me. I'm not sure if you can turn it off or I haven't found where you can turn it off, is when you create a new editing project, there is a title screen that is created that shows up at the end of your video. You can delete it. You should delete it. You just gotta remember to delete it. If you forget, it's going to show up at the end of your video. So not a deal breaker, just something to be aware of. When you create a new project, just delete the little title card at the end and you'll be good to go. The next app then is Vlo or V-L-L-O. And this is another amazing app that's available for both iOS and Android. Once again, it's got a really intuitive, really easy to use interface. I'd probably say it's the next level up, maybe a little bit more polished or a little bit more refined than the interface on VN Video Editor. But it also includes some more professional features as well. Things like an adjustment layer, which is something that you'd normally only see in professional grade video editing software. This adjustment layer will let you apply filters and effects and things to it and it's going to apply to any of your video clips or photos or anything that are underneath it. So a really amazing, powerful feature. I really like the way that your audio waveforms are displayed. So if you're going to be editing your content down based on audio, based on a voiceover, that makes it really easy to do in here. And just like VN, it's also really easy to switch between different formats. So converting your video from a widescreen to a portrait or a square, that's really easy in here as well. And the other standout feature for me is I really like the level of control you get over the look and feel of your video, your color effects, your color grades, the filters and things that are in there that make it so easy to dial everything in with a great amount of control. Now, in regards to pricing, there is a free version available where you can export your videos without a watermark if you watch through an ad or sometimes two ads. But to remove the ads and to unlock all the features, including that adjustment layer feature, and that's when you need to jump on one of their paid subscriptions, which is currently priced at $3.99 per month or $7.99 annually. So I think that's ridiculously cheap considering what you're getting access to. The third option then is LumaFusion. And this one is hands down the most professional video editing app on iOS. This one really mimics what you would find on professional desktop video editing software. So it has the most amount of tools, the most amount of features and control as you would expect with a more professional editing solution. Now in terms of the overall interface and usability, this one is definitely aimed at someone at that intermediate to more advanced level. And it's not gonna be as easy for someone to jump in and to get up to speed editing quick as something like VN or VLLO. 
but at the same time, it's not gonna be too daunting for someone to jump in, figure out where everything is, and then have access to all of those advanced features. So in terms of actually editing, it's got a magnetic timeline to really hear mimics what you would find in Final Cut or even DaVinci Resolve. There's a ton of effects. There is support for things like LUTs or lookup tables for professional color grading. You even have the ability to really dial in your audio controls and use keyframes to get everything set how you want it. Or for simplicity, there's also an amazing auto ducking feature where it will automatically lower your volume or raise it depending on what's going on in your video at that time. And another standout feature is that you also have the ability to export your LumaFusion project and import it into Final Cut on your Mac, meaning that you could start your edit on the go on your phone or on your iPad and then transition it over to Final Cut for finishing. Not that you need to, but you have that capability. I also like that you can customize up the interface. And this is something that a lot of editing apps don't let you do. I think if you're gonna be using a smaller device like your phone, this is really important. So it'll allow you to customize up what you're seeing on the screen as you're doing different things. So you can make the timeline bigger, the timeline smaller, and resize your actual playback window so that you're able to maximize the screen real estate that you've got access to. Now, in regards to pricing, there is no watermarked free version available. This is a paid app and it is a one-time purchase, meaning that you don't need to sign up to a monthly fee or a monthly subscription. So LumaFusion is currently selling one time for $29.99. Again, ridiculously cheap given the pro level of tools that you're getting access to. So those are my top three apps right now on iOS, but which one is gonna be best for who and what's my top pick? Well, I'd say that VN Video Editor is gonna be great for someone at that absolute beginner level right through to intermediate pushing on advanced. Given the amount of features and controls and everything that's in there, given how easy it is to use, it's going to be a great option for a lot of people. Vlow is going to be very similar in that it's gonna be good for someone at that absolute beginner level because it's still got that intuitive interface right through to advanced because it does have a lot of those pro level features like the adjustment layer and some of the other more professional features that are in it. And then LumaFusion is really gonna be great for someone at that intermediate through to advanced level or a beginner willing to invest some time to get up to speed and figure it out. But really it's gonna be great for someone who is looking for the most professional application, the most amount of features and controls to really dial in the look and feel of the video that they're creating. Now in terms of which one is my number one pick right now on iOS, it really is gonna to go to LumaFusion. It is crazy the amount of features and everything that is in there and how fast it is and how well it works with pro level footage as well. And I also really like that I can take my projects and open them up in Final Cut. But I also have to say that a very, very, very close second is actually VN Video Editor, which is crazy because up until fairly recently, if I just needed to do a quick edit on my phone, I was using LumaFusion or I was using Vlow. But now the app that I'm finding I'm opening up the most is actually VN Video Editor. And its Mac version is amazing as well. And obviously with the price tag of free, it is an amazing offer. So now that you've got your video editing app sorted, if you'd like to level up your video editing skills, then I've got two things for you. The first one is a video that is linked on screen, taking you through our video editing process, helping you edit faster and more efficiently with minimal wasted time. The second one is our PDF guide of that video, meaning that you can print out those steps and follow along while you're editing your next video. So grab your copy, check out that video, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.